Welcome guys to my first round of golf in Texas. Um, I literally just landed last night so I don't know why I'm out here playing but I'm just too excited to come out and play so I found this little golf course. It looks really nice. It's called Diamondback so let's check it out. So I almost ran out of fairway on a tee shot. Um, as you can tell, the grass is very, very dry. So not commonly what you see on my channel. Very different type of play. So let's see how we get around this golf course because I feel like that's how the golf courses around here are going to be. So got to get used to it. So I got a bit too scared on my second shot because I saw that it was so dry so I assumed that I was not going to want to hit it on the green. Um, left myself with a pretty weird chip because I didn't know how much it was going to roll. Like you saw, I dropped it pretty short and just let it get up there. But it ended up being okay, made a par so definitely taking a par in the first hole. Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting round I think. Going to have to adapt a bit of my chipping and my hitting because definitely can't land it the way I normally do, which is like full carry. Um, need to learn how to land it short and just let it roll up. Also with the chipping, I think I'm going to have to hit more like low chips versus the normal flop kind of chips that I like to hit. So I'm not sure how far my ball is going to go with the conditions being so dry, but I think you can tell on the right side, there's even though it looks like there's less space, there's actually more space. So I'm going to try to get that down the right side of this fairway. Alright, so I obviously didn't know that there was going to be a water hazard over there. I'm good though. I'm just here on the fairway. And it seems like there's a water hazard before the green, so it looks like this is going to be a layup par 5. I think it's 257 to the pin. Um, obviously, I don't know how far the ball is going to roll, but I don't need much. I think if I hit it like 150, I'm only going to have 100 into the green. And because there's a water hazard, there's just no point playing it that close to the water hazard with the conditions being this dry too, so I think I'm just going to hit something like a 9 iron. So I'm a good distance away from the water hazard. As you can see, that's the water hazard. But you can also see that this part here, it kind of goes uphill and then downhill. So if you land it anywhere here, there's a chance you're going to go in the water, which really just completely unnecessary. So. I mean, I'm still gonna, it's still going to be a 3-shot hole, so it doesn't really matter what you hit. So always remember when you lay up, just make sure that you're laying up and not going to get yourself in more trouble. So I'm playing the regular tees which are 6,005 because 6,009 seems a bit unnecessary. So I think that's a good distance. So this is the yardage that I'm playing. So if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that this is a completely different way of chipping that you normally don't see from me. And I think it's important to understand that on different courses, 
like over here too the grass is just so thin that if you try to hit a high shot like obviously when you're in front of the green and when the grass is really thin if you're gonna hit a high shot it's gonna be very difficult to catch good contact so low shots just higher probability and just easier to hit So I'm still having a little bit of trouble judging like how much I need to land it because of how dry the grass is but also like I was just a little bit short there so I just needed to hit a full shot versus a half shot with that but I'm not too upset about it it looks like it's in a pretty decent place so I guess we just have to go up there and see what kind of lie we have. So I tried to chip that with a little bit more of an open face which is what I'm more used to and you can see the ball just did not move. So if you want to do that, if you have a good lie and a good enough lie to do that, I think obviously like when chipping on this green I need to be so much more aggressive. So yeah, just getting used to it um, but obviously made a good putt there. The greens are really nice, they're not super fast but they are really smooth which is super nice because if you hit it on the line it's going to go in the hole. So I'm not sure why the grass on this area looks wet, but we're just going to play it. So that was like my first green in regulation, um, obviously I only had 58 to the green but um, yeah, the greens are actually pretty slow, they look really smooth so they're a bit deceiving because it looks like it's going to go really fast and it, oh, it could also be because I was putting like straight into the headwind just now but I left my putt pretty short, I'm still in a par so it's alright, um, yeah. So I don't really know what I should do here because I don't know what is past those bunkers. It seems like there might be nothing but that it also seems like there might be something. Um, it's only like 2.30 to the bunkers so I don't know if I should try to go past it or hit it short of it. This is also a really short hole, it's like three, 306 yards so I feel like I could get it pretty close if I just hit it past those bunkers. So, I mean, might as well try. I got my massive jacket. Because when it's windy, it's cold. <laughs> Don't blame me, I'm Malaysian. <laughs> that was uphill and into the wind. I feel like I could have gotten pretty close to getting on the green. Um, yeah, happy with the tee shot though. It is so windy right now. I didn't know what to do with the chip but I think I executed it pretty well. Got a putt for birdie. So let's try and make it. birdie i tried i gave it a good roll it just didn't break but it's all right we'll take a par see i think it's so hard when people just like judge your distance based off the scorecard because if based on the scorecard this hole is 537 yards 
I have 206 left to the green, which means I drove it like 330 yards. Mm, like, I know I'm definitely going to hit it further here and the ground is dry, but I don't think I'll hit that as far as Bryson DeChambeau. So, I think uh, you also have to like judge based on the fact that, look, it's like not straight. So, I mean, I don't know. I could have hit that 300, but 330 seems like a quite a long stretch so i mean i don't know maybe i'm just hitting bombs you know it's all the jet lag <laughs> So I actually hit really good drive, really good second shot. Um, the chip just got a little bit unlucky. I didn't know how it was going to react past that slope and it unfortunately just rolled down that slope. It was just a tad bit too hard. But also the putt just broke at the hole. Um, I feel like it should have been a birdie but at the same time I didn't hit any really bad shots. It just was a par so that is golf. <laughs> like over here is just a completely different way of playing because like when you strategize your tee shots you're strategizing to see where you're not going to run out of fairway so like over there i thought i was good i landed the center of the fairway and i still almost ran out into the hazard so because it's so dry you really need to know like where you're going to be able to hit and it's going to be able to run out and give you distance versus going to be running out into rough and stuff like that so a lot of strategizing off the tee as well See, my ball's here. I landed it basically there in the center of the fairway somewhere there. And it just kicked right and almost into the hazard over here. And you could see even if it went a little bit further and went behind this tree, I would be in trouble. Wind kind of died down right when I was about to hit. So it didn't push the ball like I wanted it to, but it's still on the green. It was also crazy how different it is when you're playing somewhere else and um, I mean I think people don't realize this it's like when I'm playing in Malaysia if I'm playing a course that's 6006 I'd be hitting a lot of like 65 even hybrids over here I'm hitting like wedges short irons so it's really so hard to judge like the conditions and the way that the course is playing and that's why like i don't really think people need to focus that much on distance in my videos like people always nitpick and be like hey you only hit this 220 yards like that's not long enough to play on tour yeah but playing in malaysian playing in texas for example is very different as you i think you'll be able to tell like so i know some of you guys just like to like take away like my second shot and see how far i had and see how long i hit that tee shot but honestly it's not the most important thing because everywhere you go it's going to be different Well, I just made the longest birdie opportunity I've had today, so you'll never know. Don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> 